we'll guide you through how to get and install BSL shaders in Minecraft. If you find this useful, then consider subscribing and liking the video. Shaders can go and really enhance the look of Minecraft. They can add shaders, do different lighting, amongst other things as well. So we'll guide you through this step by step. Go and open up a web browser. I'll go and open up Chrome like so, as we need to go and download some different things in order to go and run shaders. The first thing we need is Iris. So go and type in Iris Shaders Curse Forge. We'll go and get them from there. And what you can then do is come to Curse Forge at the top. And what you want to do is go and press files. You can read through the description if you wish, but we'll be covering the steps on how to install it. What we can do is go and get the latest version. Make sure you note down the game version. For me, it's 1.21.5 and make sure the mod loader is for fabric. Press the three dots to the right and press download file. Now wait, that's now gone and downloaded as you can see. Press the back button at the top and we can come to the top here and then go and type in sodium. So in order to go and run the iris shaders, we need to have sodium. Search for that and click on it. You can once again, you can go through and read about it. This will also go and optimize the game and enhance it as well, performance wise, which is good. We can press files at the top here and make sure we get it for 1.21.5 in my case. Essentially, make sure the game version is the same. For you, the game version may be different. And for the mod loader, we can make sure it's fabric. Press the three dots to the right and press download file. It now has, and then what we can do is go and press back. Come to the top, and now we can go and type in BSL shaders, like so. We can go and get the pack, this top one here. At the top, you can press files. And we can then go and find the latest version, which in my case is for 1.21.5. We can press the three dots to the right and go and press download file like so. It now has, and the next thing we need to do is go and get something called fabric. That's the mod loader we've been getting the mods for. So go and search for it and come to fabricmc.net. At the top, you can press download and then press download for Windows. And you can then select fabric API just below it as well. Press files and you can go and set the game version to what we got it for, for the other things, which is 1.21.5 in my case. We'll get the most up-to-date one, press the three dots to the right and press download file. We've now got everything we need. Before we get any further, a big shout out to the sponsors of this video, Apex Hosting. If you're in need of a Minecraft server, check out the link in the pinned comment and the description. At the moment, you can get 30% off your first invoice, it's definitely worth checking out. They've got so many great features like one click install mod packs, DDoS protection, 24 7 servers, and support, meaning you can get the help anytime you need it, ultra low latency, instant setup, a free subdomain, and much more. If you're interested, there'll be a link down below which you can go and use. But let's continue. Now, to go and start the install process, open up File Explorer and press Downloads to the left. You need to go and run at the Fabric Installer. Double click on it. Make sure you run it for the version you got everything for. In my case, it was already 1.21.5. Now we need to go and open up the Minecraft launcher. At the top, you can press installations and scroll down and go and find fabric for 1.21.5. Press the folder icon to the right. Find the option for mods and go into it. What you can do is go and drag in Sodium, Iris and the fabric API, just like that. After we've done it, you can go and close out of here. Come to the launcher, hover over the fabric loader and we can press play to the right and now it's going to start. Now to go and add in the shaders, we need to go and pause the game by pressing escape, press options and then video settings. These are going to look different as we're using sodium and Iris will go and add in the shader packs option. So click there, you want to click open shader pack folder and what you then need to do is you need to go and and drag and drop BSL in. You'll go and see they're now there. Make sure shaders are enabled by clicking it, select the pack and press apply. And these look absolutely incredible as you can see. 